Hey y'all and welcome to the video and thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm going to be doing a casual eye look first impression on the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze eyeshadow palette that came in the Ipsy Glam Bag X for November of 2021, the Huda edition. So I haven't officially unboxed my box yet, but I did grab out this palette because I wanted to play with it and use it because I mean, this is one palette that I've always wanted. I just didn't want to buy it because, you know, it came out a while ago and I don't really spend my money on products that aren't new because I have so many and I just I've done two separate videos on this already Huda shadows are just so good and look at the color story I mean come on I had to obviously do an eyeshadow look for you guys before I start the day out with my filming so that's what I'm gonna do so if you are into these types of videos from me because I am your friendly neighborhood spoiler and unboxing gal and I also play with makeup definitely give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe especially if you're already watching and um, yeah let's go ahead and get into the video so of course as always I'm gonna start out with my Zoeva eye primer just gonna pat that into my lid really quick. Okay, so to start out the look, I'm going to go in with this peaky shade here and I'm gonna apply that in my transition. I'm just using this like mini Charlotte Tilbury brush just because it's clean and this is a light color. So I just wanted to use this brush. <laughs> and right away, already super pigmented of course because Huda shadows are very pigmented. They blend very, very well. And you can never go wrong with a Huda palette. That's why I was so excited for Huda to be doing the X for November. Because she just has outstanding products. Like, they're just so freaking good that you just, you can't go wrong. Though I believe that her old, like her very first, like, Obsessions palettes weren't very good. And so she came out with, like, the nude, the light... And like the dark nude, I think. Then her little nine pan palettes, the quality went up from there. Which I know a lot of people can agree with me on that. Like it's kind of like a known fact that they were kind of okay. And then they got better. So anything above those Accession palettes is like always such good quality. And everyone always just falls in love. Plus, she has great lipsticks, she has a skincare brand, she has um, just amazing products. I mean, come on. I don't know what else to say other than it's amazing, and I'm just so glad that she did the Ipsy X. It wasn't like a celebrity or, you know, someone who's like a musical artist, somebody that actually owns their own brand. Though the Patrick Tall one was pretty cool. I just was a little disappointed in, you know, the products that were featured in that bag. I would have liked to have seen more out of it, but then again, it was the first X, and I feel like this is the best one out of all of them. Um, besides, like, the Khloe Kardashian one, I know a lot of people, when I said I didn't get the very first one for some reason, they thought that I was, like, you know, downing it because of the fact that I didn't get it. Um, and that was the reason why I hated it, but no, that's not at all it, because I wound up getting the next one which was Chloe's and then Halsey I was excited for it until I really saw all the spoilers and then I was like disappointed so then I didn't get that one at all and then I got this one because I just had to have it because of the spoilers <sighs> okay um now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here I'm not really sure about these mattes completely they don't all kind of cohesively go together but um we're just going to try our best to create a cute little look and i'm just going to apply this here in the outer corner and just kind of blend that into the shade a little bit and then i think i'm going to go in with the khaki green shade after that just because it looks really really gorgeous i don't know i really like these like khaki colors like the green and stuff like that I just I really like them and this little mini brush from Charlotte Tilbury is actually working quite nicely though I do have there I had something I don't even know what that was sticking to my lid <laughs> but I fixed it it's fine it's fine it's fine okay so now I'm just gonna do the same thing to this side really quick now I'm gonna take this khaki green shade and just apply this just under that and kind of in the crease again just to you know get that color in there 
but then I'm going to kind of apply it more on the lid and maybe up in the center a little bit and over yes okay cool 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 now I'm not gonna like completely worry about like it completely covering my lid because I am gonna put a shimmer but I just want that like base color to be there and it's giving me a nice camo effect okay now it's time to pick a shimmer so I'm just gonna swatch them all on the back of my hand just so I can see which one I want to do and they're not exactly very pigmented they're much more of like a topper so I think what I'm gonna do is apply this shade here in my outer lid and then this here in my inner corner so i'm just going to place that directly with my finger no primer no nothing we just want to see what this looks like on its own definitely not as intense but it still looks really pretty the way it is now going in with the more of a topper shade I'm going to start doing the inner corner. So for my lower lash, I'm going to use this pink shade on the entire lower lash line. And then in the inner corner, I'm going to put the dark shade. So just applying this all the way across and then going in with that khaki green shade and doing the outer portion. absolutely beautiful so now i'm gonna go ahead and do a liner and lashes and be back to show you the final look all put together i love this palette it's so pretty love it so much um it makes my eyes pop okay i cannot wait to see it with liner and lashes so i'll be right back okay so this is the final look what do we think i think it's gorgeous amazing blending was so good the toppers were actually really nice and i do like the shimmers a lot like really really pretty i enjoy 100 percent did you get this palette in your box or did you get the purple one let me know down in the comments and if you got this one are you going to recreate this look let me know as well thank you guys so much for being here and watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye